hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'll be sharing you on how to flash firmware to an Xperia 1 Mark III without unlocking the bootloader because a lot of people manage to buy this phone but for example like uh, for my uh, situation I'm living in Malaysia now but I managed to buy a phone that's actually a China or Taiwan version so when I try to use in Malaysia I don't have the VOLTE so what I heard or what I see from the forums is that you need to flash a Southeast Asia firmware for all the telcos in Malaysia to work so as of now I'll show you the sample first okay you can see I have the VOLTE on my phone and I have this version 61.1 a9128 so the latest version is I think already on like uh, 219 so I'll show you first what you need to have okay so first things first okay so I just want to mention that this guide is originally from uh, XDA forum under the username 4 so I'm just following his guide earlier and I managed to make it work so now I'm just uh, using I'm just making a video for you guys to make it easier to follow so first of course you need to have a Xperia 1 Mark III a Windows PC a reliable USB type-c cable a news flasher so this one news flasher it's this link so later I'll be putting this uh, notepad in the description so you have to go to this link and scroll down and you need to download the news flasher version 5.5 okay so next is the Xperia firm which is the version 5.6.5 so you can download from here this one okay so I'll be opening this one I'll show you how it looks like Okay, so let's open the Xperia film I downloaded. So we will open 64 bit. Okay, so you see on the left side, the phones like released from 2021 2022. So I have the one Mark III and I have the BC72. So if you notice here, this is the one we need 219. You just click it and click here and then you can just click download so earlier I already downloaded this one so it's around 2.98 gig okay so after that once we manage to download it so the first thing you need to do now is go to the downloaded one just you see this is the customized house Asia 61.1.a.9.219 so this is it so I suggest those who are transferring from a different firmware you just go and delete everything meaning you have to back up first and do this one but like for me since I'm using Southeast Asia earlier so I just want to update my firmware so you can update also the firmware without deleting the setup and also your applications meaning you don't have to format your phone so I have that guide also here which I always follow so you you have to delete user data and then you also need to look for the apps log that sin diag and metadata sin so if you're going to do the first time from different firmware like from sample Hong Kong firmware going to Southeast Asia then you don't have to do to delete any of those but like for me i have to delete those so i'll do first the deletion so let's look for the user user data this one okay next one asking now is apps log this one then diag scene or this diag 
and the last one is the metadata okay so means after I deleted those I'm coming from Southeast Asia and update because after you do this one you won't get any OTA so you have to do this one manually every time they release one it's a good thing because you have this option now to do and you don't have to delete anything or reset your phone so first things first we need to do is we need to go to the path where's the where uh, the, the firmware located and we had to set this one okay so CMD normally I run as admin just to be sure CD Xperia CDX1 CDX Okay, so I'm inside This one Now I need to Type this Or else, if you don't do this one You'll have a dead phone So paste it enter oh sorry uh you have to copy the news flasher here the one you managed to download early the v555 okay so let's download that one first oh sorry i have downloaded this one so i want to extract it going to that location xperia this one here select folder extract okay so that's a new new flasher okay so going back there here this one so i just press up remember this one active it okay once you see this one you're good to go so next is the phone so remember this is my firmware now so we have to plug it now or shut down first the phone okay now you have to hold the the volume up and plug it to your laptop and then you will see a green light here meaning you're already on uh calls one uh flash boot mode okay i plug it now on holding you see the light there okay hmm, wait let me double check why is it on blue oh sorry once you plug in, you need to hold volume down and power until you see green. Sorry, uh, volume down and then you plug in until you see this one. Just hold the volume power, uh, volume down and wait for the green color. Okay, so once you see this one, so now you go back here. So don't close this one. You go back here and you look for the news flasher. Just double click it. Okay, just run anyway. So it's asking you to press yes and no to skip. So normally I don't, I'll just press skip. Okay, so do you want to keep user data? Of course, yes, for me. But for you guys, better you press no. Okay, reboot mode at the end of the flashing so if you type a it will restart your phone f you will keep in fast boot i like the one with the color green one sorry i could call it fast boot and type s to reboot on same mode and p to power off so normally i go with a just to be sure that i finish it so for those who are flashing it that use uh, erasing user data then you will see like the login fresh for the phone itself so i'll press a 
then enter so another of question here is you want to dump uh, dump uh, trim for me I hit snow then press enter then it will start pushing already the firmware so I'll be cutting this one then later on I'll be going back when the flashing ends okay so it's just finished so now you see the phone is restarting and you can see here set slot a active if this one is on set B then you have to do a lot of things just to make your phone alive so we're just waiting now for booting up oh I forgot to mention earlier so while waiting for the phone to boot up you have to download an ADB one or else you will see a exclamation point on this part so you need to have that one for the fast boot to work so you have to download the ADB ADB one okay, where was that ADB setup so that it can detect your phone okay so my phone boot up already okay let's try to log in so I can show you Okay, so still loading so this one after after it shows finish and your phone boots up you just press any keys close it okay I'll show you first the firmware version okay so this is the firmware version now like the one we tried to flash Okay, so I'm waiting now for this phone to get the signal. Okay, so if you see, it's okay already. VO LTE. So, so far, that's it on how you do the flashing Safeway one so you can try this one first as long as you have the same model as me XQBC72 and you can flash from from Hong Kong one or from Taiwan from China to Southeast Asia to make your VOLTE work here in Malaysia so guys thank you for watching and see you again soon with another video